Hi, I'm Rick. Guys, I'm happy to be here. Uh, first of all, I'm one of the outreach leads for our conference. I'm the guy that's been on the radio a few times on commercials. I've been uh, out at parishes trying to get parish captains, things like that. So I want to thank, first of all, all the parish captains, stand up. If you're a parish captain, stand up. Thank you for all your work, all, all the things that you did for us to make this work. We had over, we think, 760 folks at this conference, and that's a huge success. So let's give ourselves a hand. Two weeks ago, we had 300 people signed up. So you guys procrastinate like the best of them. So I wanted to talk a little bit about living out your faith. Okay, what does that look like? Really quick, I know we're a little bit behind. Um, I do want to, before that, I want to thank the guys that came from a long distance. We had a couple guys, we had one guy, my brother-in-law from Little Rock, Arkansas, Jim Drake, thank you for coming all the way down there. We had, we had Tommy Telson from the St. Paul Seminary in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania came. So he gets a long distance. I just want to, everyone from um, Good Shepherd, stand up. Everyone from St. Gabriel, stand up as well. All right, those two parishes had over 200 men at this conference. So give it up. These guys know what they're doing. Good, give it up to those guys. Okay, so I want to talk about living out your faith. What does that mean? It means a lot of things. Going to Mass regularly and often daily if possible. Praying every day like Father, Father told us, the Rosary, the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And, and thanksgiving to everything we have, we're so blessed. We should be thanking God every day for everything we have. Becoming more involved at your church, other than just attending Mass every week. I mean, getting involved at your church, volunteering for charitable organizations, like this, uh, like the Catholic Charities, uh, the Fort Worth Catholic Charities. We should be all over them, uh, helping them out. The Knights of Columbus, the Habitat for Humanities, food banks, um, attending retreats like you guys are doing today, and 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 then a weekly rosary and discipleship type program at your particular parish. That 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 daily that repetition is what makes it work because you got brothers you can count on that hold you accountable if you, when you're going to these things every week and i heard a, another group i uh, know i think it may be saint gabriel's or prince of peace they do a six o'clock six a.m friday no it was my brother-in-law jim drake from little rock they do a six a.m uh friday rosary and bible study unbelievable and they have 60 men a week it's unbelievable. So that's the kind of things we need to be doing. It means sending someone a note, telling them that you're thinking or praying for them. How many times, you know, somebody's hurting, just send it a little email. Just say, look guys, I got your back. I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm thinking about you. That means a lot to people. Visiting old friends in hospitals. I had a friend of mine that I, that I grew up, an old friend of mine that is in the hospital right now. He's 59 years old. He has liver cancer and he's, he's, he's not expected to live another week or so. I haven't seen this guy in 10 years and I just decided, you know, I need to go visit him. Even though I really don't, he's not a close friend of mine, but that just made his day. I mean, that helped him uh, get through what he's going through. I'm, I pray for a happy death for him. It's praying grace in a restaurant standing up like we did last night with the leaders and, and stood up and said grace at Italianis over there. And all these people are looking at us like, you know, what are you doing? And it was the greatest feeling in the world to do that. It's hanging a rosary in your car, showing people you're a Catholic. You shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be ashamed to be a Catholic. It's smiling at people, you know, at, at somebody you don't even know. And I, I'm going to use an example one of my brothers from Good Shepherd, him and his wife, when they go to the grocery store, they make three people smile. They either do it by helping them get something that, or, you know, holding the door for them. And when they get up to the checkout, they, they even ask the checker if, if, they want, if they need something to be prayed for. 
I thought, that's awesome. I mean, that, that's living out your faith. That's how, that's the joy we're asked to do, right? To live our faith out. And, that, and that's easy. That doesn't cost anything. That's not, you're not preaching anybody. You're not judging anybody. You're just asking if you'd like a simple little prayer. It's, it's meaning wearing a red bracelet. I've got four bracelets on. I got another one today. My wife gives me a hard time about this, but people ask what this is all the time. What do you, what's that Corinthians? What's this red one mean or whatever? And I, I tell them what, why I got it and why I wear it. And that gets them thinking, maybe I need to read the Bible. I went to a recent retreat, a good shepherd and Father Dave said that when fathers who are active men go to church and participate in their church, their children are 70% more likely to stay in the faith. When the father's not involved at church, they're about 30% likely to stay. So, so what does that mean? It's us, it's us that set the example for our kids. It's our wife as well, but if, if, this, if the father's not doing it, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna take it serious. So we need to live our faith. You cannot live your faith if you do not know it. You cannot share with others what you do not first make your own. Your Catholic faith is a public thing. It's not meant to be left behind, to leave it home. You may be ridiculed and considered, and considered the outsider, but rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. Jesus Christ wants us to bring the whole world into ca captivity for truth. The truth is Jesus himself, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Spreading the faith is a task not only for bishops and priests and brothers and deacons, but it's for all of us, all Catholic people, and especially us men. Like I've told people, and I, I, didn't, I got this from Father Larry Richards, it's our job to get our spouses and family and brothers to heaven. I'm Rick. Thank you. Thank you.